Okay, the final section I have to talk about today is a little bit about future plans for LEO. I've, I've already mentioned a few as we've gone along here, but sort of recap those, summarize those in one place, and also to talk about um, you know, any, anyone that's interested in participating in the project, uh, what sorts of things you can do to, to get started. So later this year, or it, it might be early next year, a lot of it depends on just the eclipse process for getting a release out. Um, we would like to have sort of a LEO 1.1, which would be packaging up the client libraries that I discussed earlier and their dependencies for easy consumption. So sort of like we did with OSLC for J itself, package up a version with the, um, the eclipse approved versions of the dependencies and then a, a bare version, which you, know, you can add the dependencies yourself if you want. So that would be one aspect of it. The query library that I mentioned before, we'd like to package that with OSLC for J itself and package it as sort of a standalone library that you know would be useful even if you're not using OSLC for J. And also, uh, we definitely want to improve some of the documentation uh, around Leo. I think I mentioned a little bit earlier, uh, you know, things like improve the Java doc. Um, provide cookbooks, provide how-to type documents around some of these different libraries. Libraries themselves you know, are fine, Javadoc's fine, but you know, and we've got some good code samples, but, but having something that walks you through the process of how to use them I think would be valuable. Um, in terms of you know, beyond just the end of this year, some of the themes that we're looking at are you know, SDKs for technologies other than Java, sort of you know, tr trying to listen to folks, you know, what is their demand for? Java's been the big one so far, but if you have uh, suggestions for technologies that it would be useful to have SDKs for, either client or provider. I think, you know, some of the client scenarios in, in some of these scripting technologies might be very, uh, very interesting to take a look at. Uh, continue to improve the test suites, as I mentioned before, broader and deeper. Um, definitely try to make some improvements in the reporting in terms of consumability of the reports, ease of generating the reports. Um, API stabilization uh, would be an important thing. I mean, OSLC for J itself, the API is quite stable. The client library, I'm not going to claim that's stable at this point in time, although you know, it's being used in several spots, but we, um, th there's some improvements we want to make there. Definitely improve the documentation and some of the usability. Those are those are probably the main themes. Although, uh, if anybody has other ones, you know, please on the the mailing list start a discussion or or open up Bugzilla uh, enhancement to track you know things that you think might be useful here. Things that uh, we're not necessarily um, keeping our eye on in terms of samples that might be useful or uh, code for particular technologies. So in terms of participating, we do have a contributor getting started guide that's out there tell you how to set up your Eclipse environment, how to download the, um, the repositories, sort of the, the process that we go through in terms of opening a bug, um, if you want to actually contribute code, the steps that you need to go through there. But I'd say that the, you know, the main things in terms of participating are to you know, go out to the wiki, take a look at what's there. Um, if you feel any of the documentation is lacking or uh, you know needs help, you can open a Bugzilla for that, or you can update the wiki yourself as well. If there's anything that's you know blatantly incorrect, you can also start new pages on the wiki. If there's a particular area you want to you know grab a hold of and, and run with, um, for sure, open Bugzilla requests for just about anything for bugs, for enhancements, for documentation. Um, that's probably the you know the the best way to get things noticed is to open bug requests and also participate on the the mailing list. We have a it's been much more active lately, which has been very encouraging. Seeing you know folks that are in ver various stages, just starting out as down the line to folks that have contributed so much that we've you know recently made them a new committer to the project, like Paul McMahon. So. Don't, don't feel shy to just jump on the mailing list, introduce yourself, and ask questions. You know, any and all questions are welcome and are almost sure to benefit somebody else as opposed to just sending 
you know, private emails. So don't don't be shy about using the mailing list. That covers all the slides that I had and the things that I wanted to show. Um, at this point, I guess I'll open it up to questions or comments. Um, you know, anything anybody wants to bring up is fair game at this point, I guess. If you're listening through your computer speakers, please just go ahead and type your questions into the chat, the third tab at the top on your right-hand sidebar. Anything in the chat, Sean? Not, not just yet. Okay, we'll give it another minute here. Otherwise, I guess go ahead and type in a question if you have it in the chat or bring it up. But otherwise, I'd like to thank everybody that participated today. I hope you are getting a chance to try out some of the stuff that's in Leo. If you have any problems with it, or you know any issues or suggestions for improvement, you know those communication vehicles that I mentioned before, please just you know go right ahead and and jump in. We appreciate any and all feedback. Oh, so we just got some feedback, and it, thanks for the great work, Mike, and all that stuff, <laughs> too. <laughs> all right, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay, with well, that, I'll, I'll turn it back over to Sean. Well, and that's uh, that's it. Well, you return it back. It's uh, just returning back so I can close off the – or shut down the recording, and then we will post this up to uh, to YouTube and have it on our page. I've pasted into the chat – the links, if you want to take a look now, for where you'll find the uh, Perl uh, webcast. It's already recorded and available, and where you will find the recording of this available, too. So again, thank you so much for joining. Thanks for the excellent presentation, and uh, I'm, I'm certainly excited about what's going on with Eclipse Leo, and uh, look forward to what will happen later this year and into next year. Okay, and I look forward to working with all of you in the future. Thank you.